everyone, this is Dr. Rob Van Bergen and welcome to today's 10 minute training and the first live 10 minute training of the year uh, with everything that's been going on. It's just been so busy. It's such a busy time of year to get everything started. Uh, but I'm really happy to be back and to start the tradition off again with our 10 minute trainings uh, where I kind of go through a different topic, different healing topic each week um, and try and condense everything into 10 minutes. Today is a bit of a different one than normal because we're going to be talking about something that's really near and dear to our hearts here at Pain Free for Life, and that is collaborative healing. So as a doctor of natural medicine, I always look at the body holistically, and this means we can't overlook the psychological factors that come into play when recovering from a chronic condition. Now, I'm not going to throw a bunch of toxic positivity your way here or anything like that. I want to take a look at this psychological sense on a more scientific level, and I want to discuss the polyvagal theory. Now, some of you may be familiar with the polyvagal theory. Um, others may not be, but the main crux of it is this. If you socialize after physical or mental trauma, you can actually move past it and heal. Um, if you go into a what we call a freeze state, and you refuse to talk about it or to relive your trauma, you're going to be stuck and you're going to fundamentally halt the healing process. You'll be in a place where you're unable to heal. This state in the polyvagal theory is known as having a high tone dorsal vagus nerve. Now, by breaking free from this frozen state, you can actually return into this parasympathetic uh, nervous state. Or, or low tone dorsal vagus nerve, and you can achieve homeostasis so your body can start to heal and function properly. So here's a real life example, and this is a little bit of a storyline here, but imagine you're walking down the street and a, a pedestrian suddenly uh, needs emergency medical help. Um, this in fact actually happened to my mom, uh, Dr. Laurie Hache. Um, I remember this as a child. Uh, but this story is quite long, uh, <laughs> longer than we have here in 10 minutes. But let's just use the experience as an example here. So when faced with an emergency, what happens is her body was automatically engaged into sympathetic mode, supplying an adrenaline boost for extra energy. And this allowed her to not freeze, but to rush over and offer help. And if you're wondering, yes, it was emergency microcurrent assistance. Um, still to this day, um, if I hadn't seen the news report, I wouldn't quite believe uh, just how impactful the whole situation was. Once the patient was stabilized and safely on their way to the hospital, her body began transitioning from this pumped up state into a parasympathetic mode so that it could rest and repair any damage done by all the stress and excitement. And if you've been following my 10 minute trainings and my videos, you'll know how stress sabotages the entire body here. But this is where the polyvagal theory sort of came into play. Uh, so when you allow your community to support you, you um, essentially take a direct role in your healing. So here's the problem. A lot of us don't live like my mom did back in the 1990s uh, in sprawling downtowns with high streets and bustling foot traffic. And this makes talking about and getting treatment for trauma complex. Luckily, I have some great options to share today that will help you put poly polyvagal theory into practice. Um, and I've got my device ready to show you uh, that in a moment here. Uh, but the first thing is something that I'm incredibly proud of and I'm really excited about, and that's the Pain Free for Life Partner Program. So we created the uh, Pain Free for Life Partner Program to reward individuals like you, uh, marketing professionals, uh, providers, et cetera, who spread the, world, the word and uh, really grow healing communities surrounding these natural uh, pain solutions. So this is just one way to expand your healing community, to build kind of collaborative relationships that uh, really offer and foster lasting relief. Um, we connect through groups, jump starts on pain resolution, summits, uh, on my podcast, in the support group here, and many other ways as well. And when they say it takes a village, they really do mean it. So with the partner program, there are three different levels to choose from. So anyone who'd like to participate can. All of the details are linked in the description of this video if you want to sign up or if you want to learn more. Um, also, I know a lot of practitioners and people planning to start a microcurrent business. 
Um, I think that people watching these trainings here will really help. Um, it will really help them drive that business side of things. So if you could let your network know, we'd be grateful. Now, I'm having a webinar tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time, this is 1 p.m. Eastern, that goes over the entire partner program and shows you how to use it. So I'm going to be answering questions that I've already been getting by email, like how often can you expect payments? What level of engagement is right for you? Um, how we can work together? How do you send over referrals to us? And, and how do we as a company support our partners? So again, it's linked below. You can register for the event uh, and save your seat now. But on to the microcurrent treatments, because we really, we really need to be able to deal with the polyvagal shift, right? Um, now, my number one go-to is always going to be non-invasive microcurrent vagus nerve stimulation. That's what I wrote my doctorate thesis on. Um, so there's going to be a blog actually on this this month where we're going to really break down my thesis. I think a lot of people have been asking for that. So you'll get an expansion on this at the time there. Another great option is to trigger beta. And this is an interesting component of polyvagal theory that I don't think many people know about. So first off, let's cover how we would do vagus nerve stimulation. So it's simply put, I have my Avazia Life Evolution here, and you're looking for the program called 7 to 12 hertz. Once you have this program, preferably a Y probe plugged in, though you can do it with the back of the machine here, you're going to feel for your carotid artery on the left side. You need to not be talking most of the time to feel this. So you're really feeling for like a pulse. When you feel it, you're going to put the probe right behind it and you're going to adjust the power until you can feel it. So hold the plus button down. You need to feel a tingle. Once you can feel the tingle, you know that it's working. Now, ultimately, if you don't know where to where your vagus nerve is and you're struggling with this placement, I tend to tell people just to take it below your earlobe and just go about an inch below, just like that. And you'll often be in roughly the right spot. I think I might actually be in exactly the same spot I was in a moment ago. So you can see how easy it is to do. And you really just want to stimulate for three to 10 minutes on this front. Now, this is the basic vagus nerve stimulation. Many of you may already know how to do this. But triggering beta does expand upon this. I'm much more careful when recommending this treatment. Because what you're doing is you're forcing your body into fight or flight mode. Um, and if you're already living with adrenal fatigue, this treatment is possibly not the right answer for you. Um, now, if your device doesn't have a beta mode like the Pinnacle does, um, you do have in here uh, FMRSI. Now, FMRSI is the right mode to do beta as well. It's kind of right in that spot. So when you're working on the brain, this mode will actually start to bring you into that sympathetic state. Now, the goal here is to trigger yourself into beta, then go into alpha, which is your vagus nerve stimulation. So the first thing you probably want to do is use your ear clips, clip them onto your earlobes, and run a beta program for three to five minutes. After you've done that, immediately set your device to alpha, your 7 to 12 hertz, and stimulate the vagus nerve. Much of the time, we are kind of trying to unfreeze the vagal response in this case, pulling you into a beta, into a sympathetic state so that we can immediately pull you back out of it. You don't really want to be sitting there uh, in a sympathetic state when you have pain, when you have uh, chronic illness. It's just not conducive to success. But sometimes you got to get yourself into that situation so that you can pull yourself back out of it. And, and that's really where we take the microcurrent polyvagal theory. Some people will swear by things like gargling, singing, taking cold showers, um, and even group talk therapy as well. But whatever route you choose, I hope you keep the intention of expanding your healing community always at the forefront. Having people in your life that can actually be there and support you is one of the best things we can do to expand our healing recovery potential. And as Helen Kelly said, alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. So thank you again, everyone, for joining me. I really hope that you'll join me tomorrow for the partner program reveal. I'm very excited about that. Again, there's links in the video description there. Otherwise, I hope you got something out of learning about polyvagal theory today. Um, and I'm excited for you to join me next week for another 10-minute training. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.